It's the daily challenge for the 4th of October. Uh, we are playing as Nicole Ahava, uh, and we got to kill some people, killing as few other people as possible. That's quite an easy one. Um, we've got a concussive shotgun, that's a good uh, tool for that job. We're weak, so we can't use any melee weapons, but we're tough, so we take a long time to bleed out. Um, and this is day seven of our play-along week. So you should, if you're playing today, you should get your weak streak achievement. Uh, I got it yesterday. Um, if you played actually on launch day, you would have got it yesterday as well, if you played every day since. Um, it was tempting to do like a, a year streak <laughs> achievement <laughs> just to fuck with people, but some people take achievements really seriously, so you can't do stuff like that. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know why I'm looking there, because I haven't even looked at what the mission is yet. There are some heat sensor folks, and there are some emergency shield folks, and there's ten folks in total. And there are two jammers, but nothing else. Oh, and the target will flee if they hear us. And we're trying to minimize kills, so... Alarms don't matter. Uh, so if we can find a way to intercept them, then setting off the alarm is a legit strategy. Um, we actually don't have a lethal weapon, so... I've only just registering that this is a self-charging high-capacity slipstream. So we're going to be... This is interesting to me. This means we're going to be fast, which is great. I've got to be careful about knocking people into space, because that could be bad. Um, but also, um, the confusing thing is that I, although I haven't seen anyone do this daily, um, I've heard from many people uh, that they failed the first mission and got zero score. In fact, I'm pretty sure I saw someone say that they died, which is surprising with the tough thing. Like, the only way I can think you can die with the tough thing, um, uh, ever. Like, obviously you could just die over and over again and keep bleeding out in space a little bit. I suppose you could just fail to catch yourself, but then twice as long it should be fairly easy. Uh, but if you get blown up in your pod, then that is an insta-kill. It's not instant because you get a chance to recover, but um, if you fail the mini-game, then you are screwed. So this shotgun is quiet, but it's not silenced, so we don't have a, a quiet way of taking out, like, one guy. But I don't care too much about the alarm, because if I can just take out that guy... The key thing actually is to get him before he turns on his shield. So I may even slipstream and just like run past this guy until I've got line of fire on him. Because once he's down I've got the key and then I can run all the way to the telepad and at that point it's kind of solves itself. So yeah, I'm actually going to slipstream right from the word go and get right down here. That was a high risk because... Uh, that's everyone. <laughs> Um, and that didn't self an alarm because I was so fast. So actually, I mean, I kind of want to self the alarm, don't I? I'd like to get that crate, and I, yeah, it's better if it happens sooner because um, uh, if I just do that, oh, he does turn on his, he does turn on his thing. They, oh, there's not a direct route there. That's interesting. Uh, well, his. When does the shield go off? When does he calm down? <laughs> Not soon, right? Uh, it might be okay, actually, because... Uh, I've got the slipstream, and... Where's the target? The target's coming. Um, I'm quite tempted to shoot this guy. And then wait till this guy gets here. And then when he does... So he's not going to turn his shield off, but... We've got a good amount of time before the target gets the teleporter. I'm going to run in, grab that, run back out, break line of sight, which will be helpful. Um, and then this visitor, actually, because it's rechargeable, could be helpful here. But we'll see if we even need it, because I think I can probably just run... He'll fire, but I can outrun the bullet for a while. <laughs> that was closer than I thought. And I'd actually... I'm going to use another charge, because I'd love to get this guy while he's in the window room. Okay, it's fine. I went in an unusual direction there, but uh, but he's going to um, what's the word? Asphyxiate. <laughs> Not going to pick up. Just going to watch him die. <laughs> There's a little clang as he died. I guess he dropped something. <laughs> All right. Well, that didn't seem too difficult. I wonder why people have trouble with that one. Slipstreams will take you a long way. I suppose the shields, you could quite easily, you know, uh, misjudge the emergency shield and have it have your shot bounce off, in which case it knocks you out. 
But that, I mean, that only gets you kicked out of the ship, and it doesn't even eat into your bleed-out time because the weapon's non-lethal. Okay, this one, well, that's just straight up easier. I mean, there's, there's more guards, but um, ten of them have emergency shields. Okay, that's not so great. But, okay, target is not going to flee this time, so the alarm response is worse. Oh my god, his name is December Dust. That is amazing. <laughs> That's one of the best names I've heard. Um, wow. Uh, so I'm not tempted to buy anything, really. I've got a free visitor, extreme range visitor use. I've got a slipstream. This just seems like I've got it made. This is not at all fateful last words. A lot of shieldy guys right up front. If I'm slipstreaming, I can take all those out before they turn on their shields for sure. Um, and then I'm gonna go down this segment. I could go this way because then I can take out the captain. What's the captain got? Nothing. I could take out the captain and probably just juke ground those folks. Um, and then. Not entirely sure how I get the key card if I do that. I mean, the key card guy is actually um, unprotected. Oh, I could visit in. Yeah, that's what I do. I visit in there and then hit them all with one quick blast. And that way, I don't know how much value is there in being near this teddy bear because I can't actually crash it or anything. It's just a question of if I take out the captain, then it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to substream in, kill all these guys, um, or non-lethally take them down. Okay, that's that's a shield. <laughs> uh, his gun is quiet, though. So I don't actually care, do I? I think I just run away. I can be slipstreaming almost non-stop. And also... And the only thing I want to avoid is I don't want to be... Oh my god, the visitor took me a long time. Hello. He sounded the alarm, of course. Yes. <laughs> I thought about his shot getting heard and eliminated that possibility, but I didn't think about him just sounding the alarm himself, <laughs> which is, in retrospect, kind of an obvious thing for him to do. Um, do I need to teleport here? I'm not sure I do. Now that the alarm's gone off, I don't care about this captain. All I care about is just getting a line of sight on this guy, which I think a slipstream will be sufficient to do. I might as well shoot that guy while I can. Oh shit. Uh, do I have line sight on him now? I don't at all. Does that look good enough? Yeah. Alright. So we're just going to be fast enough that the defender doesn't matter. Um, in fact, I think I'm there, right? Do you know what? I think I, I, think I visit now. If ever there was a time, I think I visit in here. Don't let me forget that um, that I'm going to be pulled back. I'm not slipstreaming. That's a surprising choice on my part. I might as well, right? I've got so many charges for it. Oh fuck! God, I didn't want it to unpause there. Uh, so I have to fire. <laughs> Please tell me a shield is not up. Okay, it's not up. Uh, and then I might as well use the gun on this guy since I'm here to kill him. And since I'm that close to the key... Oh, and he's got a, a teleporter of some kind. That's an extreme range crash beam. Oh my god. This is going great. Um, I can't imagine ever needing that, but I suppose I should take it anyway. I'll take it on my way out. The teleporter is going to bring me back. It's going to bring me back. It's going to bring me back. So I shouldn't leave the ship yet. I probably shouldn't let those guys see me, because they're going to cover the direction I want to go. Nope, they're not. <laughs> Maybe they didn't see me. Okay. Pretty smooth again. Did I... Who did I kill? Oh yeah, I shot that guy across the room. I remember killing one of them, but uh, I'm sure I just kind of forgot I wasn't going to be killing. <laughs> 
because that last guy who was guarding the guard, <laughs> who was guarding the objective, I mean, um, I didn't kill him. I intentionally used the uh, thingy on him. Okay. Well, that relieves us of the burden of trying to be perfect on the vinyl mission, <laughs> which is always difficult. Ah, but it's a target freeze one, so if I can get to the teleporter. And I've got a crash beam now. The only thing is the guard, the bosses have armor, and I do not have anything that penetrates that yet. No, I do not. Um, so I could buy an acid trap for seven. That's pretty cheap, and would make at least ensure I have a way of doing it. Um, I think I'll do that. I'm already ten down, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, may as well replace that. Probably could replace the quiet gun, actually. But seriously, five slipstream charges? I think there's... I don't even know if you can use that up. <laughs> I suppose, yeah, it doesn't recharge while it's in use, so you could. Uh, I did accept the mission, did I? Yes. Okay. That is all. could be useful, could it? I've got a swapper. So this could just be a way of skipping a, a couple of segments, but it depends on the teleport range actually, because that's where the target's going to go, and it's all the way over there. This is a big ship. Um, let me let it straighten out. I was expecting the cockpit to be around there, but it's not. <laughs> uh, aha, it's south. Um, and that's protected by a defender. That's pretty hairy. Uh, so the target himself is down there, but that's okay because I can just um, lure them to this telepad. So it's this sector I need to control. And I don't have a great way of doing it. I'm tempted to just kind of like... I mean, actually, if I walk in here, aren't they going to sense me? Oh, they set off the alarm, that's the problem. So I was thinking I visit into the the cluster, or maybe a visit directly on this guy, drop an acid trap, shoot everybody, and then that sector's clear, and I get this. I think that's good, because I want to, I'm just going to cross to here, so I've got to do this sector, this sector, this one, and this one. Four. Which is a lot, but it's a, this ship has ten sectors, so. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm, oh no, I'll use the disposable one, because I don't need range right now. And I'll go behind him, just I don't know if that helps at all, but I will. Uh, I'll actually move a tiny bit just to make sure I'm definitely in range. So I do this, then I acid trap, and then I <laughs> look at his armor coming off. That's cool. Um, ah, I'm not slipstreaming. I should be slipstreaming. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that was a nice shot. Okay, that got it done. So, I can do the double visitor trick. I should think about that. So, um... <laughs> I knew it was going to pull me back, but I pressed E at the same time and that was... Ah, shield. That's potentially useful. Um... So, the double visitor trick. That could... This sector's a bit of a, a wishy-washy one, actually. And I don't have any quiet way of taking people out. Well, I don't have any silent way of taking people out. Um, so perhaps this is a... an occasion to use multiple... charges. So I'd slipstream, and then I'd use the disposable visitor. Uh, what's its range? It's very tight. So I could get through... I think I've just run past... Oh no, if I run past these guys, it's going to set off the alarm. Maybe I want them to set off the alarm? No. The distance between the target and the telepad is pretty short. The distance between me and the telepad is quite long. So I can't set off the alarm yet. That's going to be tough in this sector. They can all... They've all got heat sensors, and they all are within hearing range of each other. Um, so... Oh, I can crash them. I've only got three charges on that, but... That's quite tempting. 
What does the sector after this look like? That's more of a cluster one, so I think I can just take those guys out all at once. And then this one, again, is clustered. So this is the hardest one, so it would be worth using the uh, visitor trick if I can. I actually don't know if I can, because... Well, let's see, there's three people here who could sound the alarm when I shoot this guy. I can get two of them with a the crash beam. So what if I kind of... What if I wait a sec to get these two together? Oh, a tracker's coming. That's interesting. Um, I don't think I paid attention to what the defend to what the contractors are on this mission. But I think I like this. If I can crash these two with one crash beam. Oh, uh, don't forget to slipstream. Do you think I can do it from here? No, not quite. Is that going to get both of them? Yes, it did. And so, it's time... I'm going to have to think about ammo. Like... Okay. So those guys will have heard that, but there's not much they can do. Because they can't sound the alarm, and the turret is not facing the bad way, which is good. I don't need to deal with them, in fact. I'm just going to run past them. He's going to see me, but do I care? Um, I think I just run straight into these guys. There's no one else in that sector, right? Nope. Straight into them. No slowing down. Oh, one of them's armoured. And shielded. Should have thought about this. If I visit to him now, that'll work, I think. And then I'm actually going to move a tiny bit before I fire because I want to get as many people as I can with one shot. Okay, that's working. I do have to hit that guy, I think. And that's clean. I'm going to get pulled back. When I get pulled back is the... Hmm. Uh, I don't want to get pulled back. because <laughs> Is the tracker down there yet? No, he's, he's all right there. Okay, I can get pulled back. I'll let that happen. I've got time pressure, but not that much time pressure. Did I get the guy's keycard? No, I didn't. I got to grab this. I don't know if I'm even going to stop at this thing, because the tracker chasing me is the biggest worry. And I think I want the alarm to go off now. This would be a good time for it. I've got ten shots left. I think I slipstream in here. Yeah, I'm leaving the crate unopened. And I could visit to that armor guy. What do you think? Do I? Oh no, they're in a shield room. Perfect. Um, I'm going to slipstream now, so that I can potentially get them. You know, the fact that they're not going to have a chance to sound the alarm is actually kind of a bad thing. But still, I do need to deal with that armor guy as fast as possible. So I think I'm just going to run down here and shoot like that. <laughs> And then I'll let these guys sell me along. Bye. Oh no. Uh, I attacked as soon as they fired. Jesus, look at the firepower on that. That's going to get him, isn't it? Yep. I. Do you know what? I don't even need to do. I don't even need to set off the alarm. The guy's right here. Oh, but he's defended. I do have a crash beam. Maybe I just let these guys hear me. Uh, actually, let's go off and turn this off. How's the tracker doing? He's still... Oh, you know what I can do? I've got slipstream. I'm going to do this. I am going to slipstream. Run over here. And... I actually... I do have time now. So, I'm going to... God, I could even time this. Have you seen what I'm going to do yet? <laughs> oh, Sidewinder, that's great. That's worth it. That'll save more time than it took to pick it up. Uh, I'm going to shoot this fuel barrel. Because I think... I don't know if it's his only route to me. But... Ooh. I've got to be careful here. Um, because... I don't want... I'm just going to drop the gun there. 
I need to drop something here. Um, so that <laughs> the problem is uh, if I drop something where I'm standing, when I shoot this, I think it might get sucked in space and I might not get it back. So I just want to make sure that doesn't happen. So I could try and time it so he actually gets caught in the blast, but I think this will be close enough that he gets sucked out. Okay, that did trigger the alarm, which actually was an objective. <laughs> um, not literally an objective, but something I was hoping would happen. And so now the target should run away from the defender, so that actually accomplished two goals. What do you think? Shall I just... Oh, he's the target's fucking armoured. I didn't know that. Okay. Thank God the acid trap is still in, still on board. Maybe I drop my shotgun for now. Um, so I think I'm gonna use the slipstream to get this in front of the door. I don't want to engage him just yet because he's still in defender range. But let's wait for him to get. Uh, what's the word? Stripped. <laughs> kind of a weird word, but. And then I think I can just. Slipstream. Actually, you know what? It would be more stylish if I... <laughs> I'm going to regret this, aren't I? Uh, more stylish just to ambush him, I think. <laughs> There's something kind of neat about that. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. So long, suckers. That felt pretty smooth. I know I, I did... Definitely not a perfect score, but... Um, did I kill him on that last mission? Oh yeah, I killed five people. I... Uh, to be honest, I just forgot about the killing thing. <laughs> I knocked some people out the window. <laughs> I knew I was doing that. Uh, Alright, the penalty is actually fairly hefty there. Still, 443. It's over 400. That's that's a respectable score if it's over 400. How do my friends do? Ooh, and best of my friends. Yeah, why did so many people die on mission one? That's real. And right away as well. That's like that number of seconds. That's not repeatedly getting thrown out. It must have been the target escaped. Um. See the top scores. Oh, lots of perfect scores. 596. That's extremely fast. You know what I like actually is I'm not seeing the people who did well on this day are not the people who did well on other days. That I, as far as I can recognise, there are a couple of names I I see often in the top listings like uh, Seamus Donahue. Um, that name has stood out to me a few times, um, and a couple of others where I I would recognise them if I saw them again, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. But I think it's kind of good if it's not the same people getting the best scores every day. <laughs> Victim of circumstances, near me. And so, yeah, no one's buying acid traps. Or maybe they are. I don't know. I never see people with the same expenses as me. That's kind of what I expected, is like, if there are just some basic smart choices to make. I've got to think that if you're going to buy anything, the acid trap just before mission 3 was the way to go. Because you had such good equipment on that level. Like, the, the slipstream's amazing. And the, we had no jammer gates. Jammer gates would have countered that slipstream, and that would have been a problem. Not completely countered, but maybe a pain in the ass to use. Actually, it was high capacity and self-charging, so maybe it wouldn't have been that bad. But it's all the more lucky to not have that. Hmm, that was fun. Well, I hope you joined me for the whole week. And if you didn't, then I guess you've got to play for a different seven days. <laughs> good luck with that.